general power rule general power rule so i will do one of the differentiation rules which is general power rule product rule quotient rule and chain rule but today i'll stick with the general power rule which states uh, whenever you're given a function like this so this is a function okay it can be sine x to the power n uh, cos x to the power n or ln x to the power n or whatever function that has a power of n so now uh, the question says you have to find dy over dx or f prime of x or the derivative for that function of the power n so what are you going to do then simple dy over dx is equal to take this guy and multiply with this guy then you subtract one from that guy and then you multiply with the derivative of this guy which is f prime of x all right i know you didn't understand me so i'll just go to the examples example number one so i'll just say exercise number one you are given y is equal to root x minus one then we have to find the derivative of root x minus one which is a function obviously we have to change this function so that it, it has to be in this form we have to change from this form into that form so it will be y is equal to x minus one to the power half now do whatever you say here so dy over dx is equal to then take a uh, half as n as n and then subtract one and then multiply with a uh, half so it's half x minus one then subtract one from here then it times with the derivative of here which is uh let me just indicate it like this so that you won't get confused yes now i showed the other step of it so i've subtracted one i've multiplied with the exponent now uh, i've multiplied with the derivative of this part so this is just the indication of it so let's simplify x minus one it's negative half times the derivative of x minus one is one derivative of negative one it's zero derivative of x it's one then let's get rid of this exponent of all this negative exponent and make it positive like this x minus one to the power half then is equal to half times one over root x minus one is equal to one over two root x minus one let's do the second example to y is equal to let me take a uh, tan cube x let's find the derivative of that function then we have to change that into this form y is equal to tan x and then dy over dx is equal to 3 tan x then 3 minus 1 times d over dx of tan x and then we have 3 tan so 
squared times derivative for tan x it's sec squared x then we have 3 tan squared x times sec squared x then that these our answer let's do the third one y is equal to sine squared x plus ln ln squared x so well obvious we have to change uh, this function in, into that form into that form so let's do y is equal to sine x squared plus ln x squared and then dy over dx is equal to 2 sine x then times the derivative of this we subtracted 1 from the power we left it 1 we subtracted 1 from 2 and then we left it 1 and then we have to multiply with the derivative of this function which is sine of x and that is cos x plus 2 ln x then let's subtract 1 there and then we're left with 1 and then multiply with the derivative of ln x and then we're left is 1 over x the derivative of ln x it's 1 over x then is equal to 2 sine x times cos x plus 2 ln x divided by x and then let me do the last one i have uh, y is equal to cos uh, root x all right all right all right then i have this minus ln cube x then i, 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 I am supposed to find the dy over dx or derivative of root x minus ln cube x so dy over dx is equal to I have to change that first so y is equal to cos x half minus ln x yeah I have to find the derivative for that and then let me do it below is equal to half cos x into negative half when you separate one from half you get negative half minus three into ln x oh my god this is wrong I was supposed to multiply with the derivative for that so let's do it here so for that dy over dx is equal to half then cos x then we subtract one from half then we're left with negative half then we multiply that was my mistake i didn't multiply with the derivative for cos x which is negative sine x minus uh, then I have to times with the tree ln x then I separate 1 from 3 I have 2 then I times with the derivative of ln x which is 1 over x then my answer is okay gonna be dirty though but let's write it anyway so i have to get rid of that negative exponent so it's cos x uh, then yeah then minus sine x so th th this is a multiplication sign so sine x will just go here and then minus 3 
and then squared x divided by x so that is our final answer and then we are done thank you guys i'll see you on the product rule on the next video